up here, this whole trophy rainbows. And the beauty of this lake is all the panask. Like they're all panask, high flying rainbows. Of course it's early, we just got out here. So, you know, we're expecting mayflies today. We, uh, we know these lakes are full of mayflies. We know there's big caddis hatches, you know, the traveling sedge. And I start, always start with a leech. I've got, a, I got my little special Dawn's Magic Brown leech on. This is a different one. This is actually the jig. We tied this, uh, tied this fly, on you, fly for you on one of our earliest shows. And look at this fish. This is, I got anchor ropes, but if I can get them up, it's pretty big. It feels, feels in that 24 to 26 inch range. <laughs> feels like it, but who knows until I get them up. But that's the beauty of, uh, of leeches. Oh, that's a big fish. This is a nice fish. The thing about leeches is they do catch big fish. Oh, man, look at that. This thing is a tank. Oh, man. Oh, my. This is uh, definitely 26, 26 inch plus. Look at that. That is just a, there's a 24 inch, now that's a 26 inch rainbow. Look at that fish. Okay. <laughs> How's it about that? Yeah. Dale's got the little guy on the mayfly. He just lost one that size, if not bigger, on his mayfly nymph. I'm working the leeches. We just started. You know what? It's gonna be a great day. So, you know what? It's all about fishing these beautiful caribou lakes. Today, we take you sport fishing. <laughs> Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. He just about jumped in the boat and then he went around the anchor rope. <laughs> Had to get him cleared. Hopefully this, this time these hooks you tied years ago they're working great, these mayfly <laughs> yeah. ostrich roll. Yeah, but ostrich roll mayflies are my favorites, and I think I tied those for you like 10 years ago. And I has had the big toad on it, and my hook broken my out. hook broke, yeah, they're a little I'm worn out. I'm hoping this one, this one holds. It's another beautiful fish. Geez, he almost jumped in the boat, eh? He yeah. Jumped, landed right by the front anchor, and then went, oh, there, nice. Oh, thing. yeah. Yeah, big hair. Geez, all the fish we're catching this morning, we've lost quite a few. And they're all beautiful sizes, eh? Yeah, on both the leech and the mayfly now. Yeah, they're just opportunistic. Oh, yeah. In really shallow, clear water. Well, that's the beauty of the, these caribou lakes. They got all the feed in them. Oh, there he is. Oh, nice. And in. Oh. 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 Oh, oh. oh, he's gone anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Blooper! He had way more spunk than I thought on the thing. Aren't those nice fish? Oh, the hook let's, held. Beautiful. Nice job. Let's get some more. Oh, gee. Look at the size of that. Oh, it's a beauty. Man. So here's it's the beauty. other thing. That's what we're doing. You know, we, uh, a good friend of ours, Tim McDonald, he said, you got to work the weeds here. Work the weed edges, because that's where the biggest fish go. You know, you can get them all in the chronomid. And sure, you know, there's a there's a million guys that, that love to crown at these lakes, but you know, we want to show you some mayfly and some leech action in the weeds, and that's what we're doing. I'll show everybody the spot where we're actually getting them. But the big fish come in to feed on all the food items. You've got to remember, it's the grocery store, right? This is where all the feed is for these big fish. And look at this, another oh, another whale. It's another tank. Another tank. So we hooked this way. Tank. Oh, I know. They're just. Can you get them? Look or? at that. Yeah, I'm going to try. Holy cow. Well, you get them by yourself. That's well, the trouble when you're filming. I'm going to try. Oh, it's a big fish. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. You're barely going Look the Moby. Look at the size of that. Uh, I'm going to try to hold him up this way because he's so big. Oh. Look at that. Look at that fish. You know, it's good to 
That's a solid 24 inch and I'm just gonna let it, oh, there he goes, slide away. Well, I was gonna change over, Dale just lost a monster. It ripped him into the weeds and broke him off. His last Ostertrail mayfly, but I think I've got a few more in my box, but uh, the leeches, they're still on it. So there's a lot more fish moving along that weed edge now. We slid over. Usually when they start keying on the mayflies, that's all they're gonna eat, either the adults or the nymphs. But I thought it'd still throw the magic brown there. It's still working. Got this guy. Oh, another just beautiful fish. Keep them out of the weed. No kidding. <laughs> well, I've had gotta, the bad experience yeah, in the you weed. Yeah, you gotta handle them carefully. You know, we've got eight, I've got eight pound test on. He just went for screaming runs. You know that. Oh, look, they're all, this guy's the smallest. Yeah. Well, other than my first one, the smallest guy so far. I know. And look at the, look at the size look, I mean, of that's, them. That's the small fish. Yeah. Come that, on, not too crazy? many times that happens. No, not at all. Oh. Yeah. oh. You know, that's 24 oh, still, inch. Yeah, it's like 24 a, inch fish, and we consider that small. It's a 24 inch rainbow. <laughs> look at how fat he is. And fat. Yeah, look at the leech right in that corner of the mouth. They are just, you know, and it's funny because we uh, we tried different patterns. There's the leech again. We tried different patterns. We tried some uh, some catasedge, a few other things, some other nymphs. You know, some, you know, the little what do you call them? Little pheasant tails and that, but they weren't hitting it. As soon as we put on that Ostertrill mayfly and this leech, we're just banging them. Well, I'm gonna try to hold this guy's 24. Whoa. Oh, see, I'll get him with this hand. and see if I can hold him up this way. Look at that. Oh, and the net. Look at that fish. Look at this. Look at the colors. He's just gonna get ready to go, and there he goes. I got him out of the weed this time. That's a different May, different pattern I had. I ran out the ostrich roll, broke the one in half, and then broke the one off. Oh, another beauty. Look at Oh. Oh. The size of those fish. <laughs> oh. It's a joke when they're on it, right? When, you're, when you can actually nymph them, the indicator fish, and watch your indicator going down steady like this steady. in shallow water, in six feet of water, you can't beat it. And there's like 24 to 26 inch fish. Oh yeah. This is another big one too. It looks good. I gotta keep him out. <laughs> Go to the weeds again. <laughs> and you almost had him in the net. He would have come in hot. So watch your anchor rope. Watch the anchor rope. Keep I'm pulling trying. your pick. Put your rod out. I keep am. Him out. Keep turning them. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Look at the size of that. What's well, another? Just everything we've caught and it's being a oh. slab. Come on. There, I think you got him this time, bully. Oh, oh. You got him. Oh, he's <laughs> bogger. He's 26. Yeah, probably 25, 26. That was quite a, quite a battle. I can't even get him around. Yeah, you can just hold him kind of in the net there. That yeah. is pretty sweet fish. Wow. Look at that. Look at oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh. I'll bring him up on the... Gorgeous fish. Those panas are just beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my. Beautiful. Oh he's, oh, he's gonna go. Let him just rub his tummy on the net. Hold yeah. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what action. What That's a day. Great. We've only been on, so now it's 10 o'clock. We came out hour at 8.30, hour, hour and a half, and we've hooked probably 20 fish. Oh, that size. That size. It's crazy. How many we've lost. So let's see your fly. Yeah, I had to switch up on the, the mayfly, but same, very close to the ostrich roll. This doesn't have the ostrich roll, but same color. Oh, yeah. I large. mean, it's got the gray, right? Yeah. It's got the nice ribbing, the nice size. It has the same, yeah. yeah exactly. As close as I could find to it. <laughs> <laughs> was first cast with after, it, so. After your ostrich show, you broke it. The fish broke well, the Well, broke hook. the one hook in half, and then the other guy went in the weeds, and, oh. Well, let's, let's get some more. I see. It's been I see. epic. I got Uncle Teddy and Catherine moving over here, moving too. Moving in. Now. Coming over. Oh, oh look at that, Dale. It's a tank. Oh, he's huge. He's huge. Holy oh, cow. Is that still on the leech? Yeah, oh yeah. I didn't know if you'd switched over to Oh that. no, this is here. This is this looks like one of those 
<laughs> maybe 28, 30. Oh, it's oh, going. No. You're way out. I know. He's going to take me into my backing. I can't do a thing. He's a monster. This is one of the big boys. <laughs> if I can get this one in, this will be so cool because oh, these are the ones you come for. This he's is way out there. <laughs> oh, I know. And he's taking me in the weed. Oh, I got to just try to. I just, I can't muscle them too much. I only have eight pound test on it. You know, Ted told us, don't go later than 12. Yeah. I didn't oh, listen. Didn't listen, yeah. Oh. I didn't either. I had the lighter stuff too. Oh, yeah. it's a tank. It's a tank. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, God. It's tough on your own. The heavy, the heavy breathing. Oh, flies out. I just oh. had him right in the nib. Look at that. Right a in the fly, nib. A fly right. that size, my little leech, yeah. that little killer leech caught this guy. Now, I think I can hold this guy because he's a monster. Ready? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, look at that. That is a 24, 20, yeah, 27-ish. Oh, oh, gee. Oh, oh. oh he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> And that's why if you're ever holding a fish up, Over pick him boat. up real yeah. quick. And if he's going to go, just chuck him. And they're gone. <sighs> that's how they actually revive a lot of the fish in the coast. Oh, they, the salmon, they, they yeah. torpedo, they torpedo him. But that guy, he, he yeah, was hot. He is hot. He oh. got him in actually pretty good. Isn't that amazing? Like 27, oh. he's 26. We've got 25, he's 24. We've got everything. We've been two hours on the water, and we've hooked over 20 fish. Yeah between 24 to 26 inches. Yeah, and there's, you know, again, I'm sticking. That's, this even is the best the fish, I've ever seen. Even though the fish are keen on the mayflies, it's one to one. Dale's got the mayfly nymph on. This leech, I put in that zone, and they they still can't resist it. Yeah. They gotta eat it. I, I just, think they're just, they're, it's like a river right now. It's flowing with the wind, and they're just setting up and just yeah, feeding, we just, just see feeding. them, they're all boiling. On and you know what? We haven't had to do a throat sample yet. We have not done a throat <laughs> sample because we haven't had to. We've, no need. We've hooked about 20 fish, we landed, what you see it, oh my God. No need. I just can't believe it. Well, let's get some more. Okay. That was phenomenal. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop. Maui Jim Sunglasses. And Hardy Rods and Reels. Oh, he's a baby. <laughs> Is he? Well, compared to the compared to what we catch, this would be on a normal day. You'd be thinking, "What a beautiful fish!" You know? Yeah, yeah. He's we're, only he's we're... only like twenty inches. <laughs> <laughs> he's a baby. He's a baby. That's funny. We're calling a fish like this twenty inches long a baby. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, look at him. We call that a baby. Yeah, he's a small guy for today. And normally, you go out to lakes and you you try to catch one this size. Yeah, he's only he's only about twenty. <laughs> <laughs> only twenty. He's only. Oh, I got a lot. He's just a little guy. Imagine we're calling those little guys now. There he goes. Are we ever spoiled? They're spoiled, spoiled rotten. Spoiled <laughs> rotten. Unbelievable. This is epic fishing. This is the best I've had in years. I mean, it's been yeah, pretty. We're two hours in. Two hours. We're at the two hour mark. 20 fish. So that's, yeah, probably 24 fish yeah, in two hours. So it's, rocking. I don't know keep what that rocking. is per minute, but. Yeah, we're only getting the one jump out of them, and that's it. Oh, this guy went for a Oh! <laughs> As I was saying. <laughs> that was his third one up. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying, but we try to crank yeah. up the camera so yeah. quick. That's right. <laughs> Wasn't ready yet. I thought he was done. <laughs> He's gone out to the center of the lake, jumped around. Glad he's got these large arbor reels. Boy, you have to catch up to them. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice, isn't oh, it? Oh, they're nice. Yeah, yeah smooth. beautiful, smooth. It's going back over towards Kathy and Ted again. No? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh. 
Another tank. Let's see if I can. They got the little peduncle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at the beautiful colors on that fish. Oh, Panasque rainbows, gorgeous. Make sure he's nice and revived. Ouch. <laughs> Gone. Jeez, you know, I, I didn't think it was that big when he hit, but wow, he hit hard. So one thing to be aware of is are the hatches. So these caribou lakes, as I mentioned earlier, have, you know, multiple hatches. Uh, Danzels, of course, um, mayflies, and caddis are probably your three biggest along with the chronomids, of course. But in the shallow water, the big ones again, mayflies, damsel flies, and the, uh, and the caddis pupa and the sedge. Well, this guy, we had uh, just steady action when it was nice and sunny, and then it kind of got calm for a bit with the mayflies. You know, it was you know, one every 10 minutes instead of one every cast. So again, I looked, a bunch of little damsel flies wiggling in the water. First cast of damsel, Lost one, Dale snaps one off, and then I got this guy. So be aware, you know, change it up as it goes. We could have stuck with the mayflies, but there's no adults hatching, and I think we caught lots on that. And I thought this guy was small at the start, but I don't think, I don't think there's any small fish in here. Oh man, oh, look at that. That is just a monster. Wow, that is huge. I'm just gonna let him go here. Look at that. Look at the size of that. That's a solid, uh, you know, that's 24 inch net. Again, 26, 27. Look at that. Oh, man. Let's get him there. Oh, boo. There Ooh. he is, he's gone. <laughs> this, is, this is insane. It's not even right. Oh, I'm gonna get my, uh, I'm gonna show you that. So there's a variety of damsels we tie. Now this one here, it's got a little, just a little crystal flash on, a little sparkle. It's a small little articulated damsel. And there it is there. You know, some really good materials you can use on these flies is a straggle string. So I'm a, I'm a huge fan of straggle now. So the, especially the black straggle they call it, it's got this purple color to it. It lights up like the straggle string I use on all my thoraxes now a lot of times a lot of my flies it's fantastic material second cast again boom 26 inch rainbow what more can I say oh man sport fishing on the fly is brought to you by Togan's fly shop Maui Jim sunglasses and Hardy rods and reels so the recommended setup today, I prefer 10 foot rod. So I've got a 10 foot rod, nice large arbor reel, 10 foot rod with an indicator all the time, your best setup, because you want that nice wide open loop. So here's, uh, and also, you know, I've got essentially a chronomid setup. I've got a long leader, so a long taper leader all the way down to my swivel, and then where I'm gonna peg it, and then of course to the fly. So in here, we've got eight pound test. You know, we're using eight pound test down to our fly, still using a swivel, and it could be silver, it could be gold. Sometimes it does, it does change how things behave. And then, of course, pegging to the depth. We're anchored in six feet. So again, right in six feet of water. I've got weed bed all along this side and all behind me and all along that side too. So all I'm doing is I'm casting cross current. So essentially, I'm casting perpendicular to the wind. Wind is direction is downstream this way, and I'm casting straight across, and then I'm letting my fly wind drift along that whole weed bank. Now that's critical. If you go in there and you're, you have your indicator straight down, you're still gonna catch fish, but it's so effective when you get that wind drift. So many people ignore the wind drift, but if you're fishing leeches, damsels, mayflies, things that swim, things that move, utilize the wind, cast across it, and allow that fly to wind drift all the way through that zone. And then you're just watching that bobber, give it a little tweak once in a while, waiting for the fish to hit. And you can see it works. Oh, look at this. And we're calling those guys little guys. <laughs> <laughs> look at it, it's I beautiful. Know. Look at the size of them. Look at it, 20, oh. 20, oh. 
three inch oh. fish and we're saying 24 inch fish and we're saying they're small. Look at my hooks out. Oh, hooks out. Look at that slab. Beautiful. I'll hold them up and show everybody. I'll try to get him. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh, gee. Yeah. Look at that fish. Beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. There oh. he goes. Oh, nice. Oh, man. Alrighty. Epic day. Epic day. Oh, I don't know how many that is. <laughs> They've lost count. Oh, that's it's 20, big. 30 fish. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of close big. to 30. Yeah. My arm is sore, man. <laughs> oh. oh. Have you ever seen a day like that? <laughs> that's got to be one of our best days ever. Ever. Of lake fishing. Best days ever. For You know what? When you're catching quality fish up to 27, 28 inches, and you're catching them steady. Steady. You steady. get so excited. I'm like, I just can't <laughs> believe it. I've never, and like you said, I've never had a day like that oh, ever. No. I'm, ex I'm exhausted. It's yeah. just, yeah. But well, we've got a lot of people to thank. <laughs> yes, well, we've got to thank Ted McDonald. We're staying yeah. in his place. We're swinging through the caribou. A lot of lakes. He's very central. He's got yeah. a place on a lake up here, and we fish all these lakes in the region. Yeah. So we just started our swing through the caribou again. Yeah, like this, I show, this is show one, day one. Oh, day Fantastic. one. Fantastic. Yeah, and like I said, we're in the middle of the COVID-19 thing right now, so yeah. got kind of the good hair yeah. going. Yeah, and... you got the bad <laughs> hair going. Yeah, I've got the, the mohawk yeah. kind of look, and that's pretty cool. Cut, but it. also Chimo RV. Chimo RV, yeah. yeah they, we, they gave us a couple of uh, RVs to use, what we put on Ted's property. Fantastic. Got all the amenities in there. We're camped right on the lake. We're using it as our base oh. for a number of lakes. It's yeah. the way to go. It's fantastic. Yeah. Well, I can't say enough. You know, if you want the fishing adventure of a lifetime, you have to come up to the Caribou region of British Columbia. They are literally hundreds of lakes like this one here that hold trophy fish. So take care, conserve water, Zem. We'll see you next time we take a sport fishing on the fly. Epic day. <laughs> Epic day. <laughs>